Hey, Daniel Lanier here, and I got something really cool for you guys today. I've always wanted to see if an electric lawnmower could really hold up. Could it do the same performance as a gas lawnmower? So I've got the Cobalt 80 Volt Max brushless self-propelled, a self-propelled electric lawnmower here. And we're gonna put this thing through its paces. I'm here at the project house. We're getting the lawn together because the lawn definitely needs some help. So we're gonna be able to put this thing through a nice workout today, but we're gonna open it up, put it together, see how it goes together, see how quick that is, see how the setup is put it through its paces as far as run time on the battery and we're going to really see if this thing can hold up the same as an electric lawnmower you know you don't have to deal with gas you don't have to deal with oil any of that stuff and it's great for the environment so if this is something you're thinking about hopefully this video will be helpful for you but we're going to put this thing through its paces this is Daniil Lanier you got stuff to do we're about to do it let's get at it All right, so inside the box. Now, I did a couple things. I took the battery out already because I wanted to pre-charge it, but it does come with the 80 volt max battery. And then it's got the charger for the battery as well. So these things were in the box. I just took them out because I wanted to pre-charge the batteries ahead of time. So we got take out All right. so we got our bag so if we're just shooting the clippings back into the yard we got our brush guard to shoot the clippings back a bag so if we're catching eventually I'll use the bag because I'm a fan of bagging especially when you're trying to keep weeds in one area uh, and then this is the lawnmower itself, so we got the handle and the lawnmower. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this box down so I can pull this out. All right, so let's go over these parts one time. Now that I got the box removed and I got everything out in the open here. So we got the lawnmower itself with the handle. We got the 80 volt battery, the charger. This is the mulching plug and the discharge chute. So that's everything that's in the box battery charger mulching plug discharge chute lawnmower itself let's get it all right so the first thing we're going to do to get set up is now remember this uh i didn't say this but one of the things that appealed to me about this lawnmower is it's got a vertical storage um where you can fold it up and store it vertically like against the wall or something like that so that really appealed to me as far as the storage solution for your lawnmower which is really great so to get it ready, we're gonna extend the handle so we can put the handle on. We're still in assembly mode. So you've got these little side clips right here. And it's kind of like uh, an adjustable ladder. Like if you got a little giant ladder or something like that, it's kind of like that. All right, so if you look right here, the handles, these little handles that turn out, like I said, they're kind of like an adjustable ladder. You've got three positions you can lock this in for your comfort. So you got, uh, you're just going to line it up, and then it's locked in. So you just got to probably have to use the line more a little bit to kind of see which one is going to be comfortable for you. I'm going to go on this top one right here. It looks like a good angle for me, so I'm going to go with that. So you're just going to pull this out, and this is for storage. And I'm gonna lock it in, lock it in, that pin right in there, all right? All right, so to put the top part of the handle on, you got these little screw handles, so we're just gonna take those off. All right, took one off. Take this guy, and it's got little holes here. And just gonna line them up. And this is where you can see if that handle position down here is good for you. That feels pretty good to me. Top spot. I think it would be too low if I go down lower. So for me, it's 
Perfect. All right, so the next part of setup, it doesn't matter what order you do this in, I'm just doing the wheel height right now, but the next part you're gonna do is your wheel height, which you can go in. We got seven settings of wheel height, getting us almost to four inches at the highest setting. So just depending on how you wanna cut your grass, it ships at the lowest setting. So if you don't wanna go down, which is pretty low, you wanna go ahead and make that adjustment before you start cutting your lawn. You wanna make sure you get the right height to the lawn that you're cutting. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna pull this handle out and you see the lawnmower raises up. Now, some of you guys may be used to using a lawnmower that you gotta adjust the back wheels and the front wheels. This adjusts both at the same time. So if you look here, it's got this spring mechanism that's pulling and that's how it's raising the lower and the front. Together, I only got one handle. As you can see, it's doing It's raising both at the same time. I'm in a low rider car right now, but as I bring this handle, which is so easy, this operation is so easy to do this, you can see it's raising the entire lawnmower up to get the height that you want. So like I said, there's seven adjustments you can make here. Really smooth operation there. No problems there, really nice. So this next part of the setup is really gonna depend on how you plan on cutting the grass. I'm gonna go through each setup so you can see how it is, but this is all depending on what you wanna do. So if you were gonna mulch, you got the little chute where the bag goes, but you'd have to put the mulching guard in here so it shoots everything back in two so you can mulch. So I'm just gonna put that in, kinda of put it in at an angle and that's it, it's in there. So it's gonna keep everything contained in there so you can get your mulching action. And getting it out, you got these two little teeth right here so you gotta kinda lift up to kinda pull it out cause you got these two little teeth down here to hold it in. So if you're gonna mulch, you need the mulching guard. If you're gonna bag, you take this out. You're gonna pull this cover up. It's basically where your mulch guard goes and your shoot feed. So you're just gonna pull this cover up and you got these bars right here for the tension bar for this cover. And then you got your hooks. So on both sides of your bag, you got these little hooks and you're basically just gonna put them on the tension bar. Put that down and you're ready to bag, you're good to go. Now, if you're gonna <clears throat> if you're gonna use a side discharge, you're just gonna pull this guy up, and I got your discharge, and I'm just gonna use these little bars right here, and I'm just gonna angle it underneath those bars. And that's it, ready to side discharge. So, I mean, this lawnmower is really really simple. All right, so the moment everyone's been waiting for, putting the battery in. So, this is your battery compartment right here. Now this little guy right here is your safety key. Without this, the battery can't start. So if you don't have any plans on using it immediately, you can just take the little safety key out. But this is the magic. If you lose that, you can't start your lawnmower. So you want to make sure you keep it somewhere safe if you are going to take it in and out. All right. So to put the lawnmower on, the battery, to put the battery in. So you want to make sure your battery's charged. Three lights. It's good, like I said, I charge these overnight, so three lights is good. And that's over, when you have three lights, that's over 70 minutes. Then each light down, it gives you a breakdown of what that is. I'll break that down for you guys. All right, on the Cobalt 80 volt battery, you have three indicator lights and the lights break down like this. If you have three green lights, the battery is above 75%. If you have two green lights, the battery is between 75% and 35%. One green light, the battery is below 35%. And if all the lights are out, the battery is fully discharged and will need to be charged. All right, you've got these nubs on the back. You actually don't even really need to worry about it because it's gonna fit in there perfectly so you don't really have to necessarily line it up. But it's gonna open this, line it in there, and pop it in until it snaps. And okay, we wanna hear it snap in, you got a little play right here to release it but you want to push it in there until you hear it snap in all right so once it snaps in 
you know you're good. Safe to key in. And that's it. All right, so what you'll notice is the battery has its own battery indicator because the batteries can be used on other tools and the lawnmower has its own battery indicator located on the handle. And here's the breakdown for how the lawnmower actually utilizes the power from the battery. So if you have four green lights, the battery is at full capacity. If you have three green lights, the battery is at 75% capacity. Two green lights, the battery is at 50% capacity. One green light, the battery is at 25% capacity and requires a charge soon and the lights go out the battery is under 25 percent capacity and requires charging immediately so that's the breakdown on how the lawnmower itself indicates the power usage all right to start the mower you got a two-part process you got a safety bar right here and a safety switch so you're gonna hold down the safety switch and then pull up on the bar let the safety switch go more is going now. Activate the self propel. You're just gonna push that button and it's good. Alright, shut it down, you just release the safety. So you have to hold the switch, pull up on the handle, it starts. It's got a three second delay to get up to full power, so it'll take a second to get up to full power, three seconds actually. You can set your speed of your self propelled right here. So how fast you want it. So let's go ahead, let's cut some grass and see how this thing works. Not too shabby. It's really, it's really light. It's easy to move around, self-propelled, kick right in. You know, you gotta get used to using your thumbs for the self-propelled. That's the only thing that's a little weird there, but once it kicks in, it takes a couple of seconds to fully kick in and get in full speed, but it goes once it does. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, my yard's not too big. I, a little, not a, not a bad size yard here, but we're gonna go ahead and cut all the grass. I'm gonna set the timer. We're gonna see how long this battery actually lasts. See if we get our full hour out of it. So I'll get back to you guys and let you guys know how I cut all the grass. All right, here we go. So I cut the grass probably about actual cutting time. It probably took me about 40 minutes. I was doing other stuff too, but 40 minutes, I still got plenty of battery left. I'm actually, next time I cut, I'm not gonna recharge this. I'm gonna cut with just this and see how it goes. I'll let you guys know. So the last thing is setting this thing up for storage. So basically you're gonna fold the handle back out, pull these locks, and lock these guys back. Once the handles are locked down, all you gotta do, stand it up. It's got like a little stand there. That's it, store it in a vertical position. That's the cobalt 80 volt in the standing vertical position for storage. It's fantastic. So how did the cobalt handle? It, it handled great. It's, uh, it's actually for a 21 inch. It's actually, and it's got a, a big battery in it. It's actually pretty lightweight. You can maneuver it really easy. Didn't have any uh, issues with maneuvering it. Didn't have any issues with the power. Uh, now, there are a lot of weeds in the yard right now, so when I get a nice full flush yard, we'll see how it performs with that. But right now, it is performing great. I got plenty of battery life still left. I mean, I don't know what to say. Uh, the one issue that I did, uh, not an issue, but just something to be aware of, a lot of self propelled mowers, the drive is in the front wheels, the drive's in the back on this one. So if you have it in a drive and you lift it up to try to move it, back wheels are still gonna be turning. So that's just something to be aware of. But I'm really digging the Cobalt 80 volt max, performing great. We'll put this thing through its paces for a little while. I'll come back to you guys a little later and let you guys know how I still perform. But right now, out of the box, first cut, 
fantastic. I definitely recommend it. So if you're looking for a good electric lawnmower, self-propelled with good power, Cobalt 80 volt max is your lawnmower. Work great, performing really good. This is Daniel Lanier. I know you got stuff to do, so do I. I'm about to go find something else at the project house to do. I'll check you guys out later. Daniel Lanier, check me out on daniellanier.com. Check out the YouTube channel. Please subscribe. I love you guys. This is Daniel Lanier. I'm out.